Promax. And here's your host, Robin Merrill. And hello and welcome from Berlin. The port city of Bristol on the west coast of England is currently hosting an international hot air balloon festival where enthusiasts from around the world gather every year for a veritable fiesta of ballooning. Now, the west coast of Britain has strong winds coming off the Atlantic, but situated at the end of the Bristol Channel, the area is more sheltered. Bristol is also where more hot air balloons are made than anywhere else. This is because of a man called Don Cameron. The skies over Bristol are often grey, but when they're suddenly full of colour, it must be balloon fiesta time. Over the course of the four-day festival, up to 130 hot air balloons take off at the same time. It's a grand sight for the locals and for the congregation of balloon enthusiasts from all around the world. The festival was set up 30 years ago by Don Cameron. He's the world's leading manufacturer of hot air balloons and they are his passion. It's a magical way to fly. It, um, it's magical and it's beautiful. And um, it's very hard to explain in words, but you have to try it. And once you try it, you'll find it hard to, hard to give up. The balloons fly using only hot air. The air is heated with a gas burner, which also regulates the hot air during the flight. But if people feel uneasy about it, they can fly their balloons by remote control. This hot air balloon is made to fly as a model and is basically here for the spectators. And if there's a lot of space available, you can fly it by remote control. More than two-thirds of the hot air balloons were made by Don Cameron's company. They come in all shapes and sizes. It's a, always a difficult question to know where the limits are with a special shape, but um, we can do almost anything. Um, I suppose if you said, can you do a pedal bicycle, then we would say that's very difficult. It has to have a bit of, a bit of body to it, but um, almost anything. Spectators can become participants. If they have the cash and the courage, they can take a ride as well. For some, it's the first time. I'm just here visiting with my boyfriend from Canada and uh, his family is here. This is his uncle, Rob, and he flies the balloons, so we get to go up, but I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> we try not to make it too exciting. It's a little bit windy, but... <laughs> Don Cameron has made more than a thousand balloon flights and even crossed the Atlantic in one of his creations. His passengers need have no fear. Still, for visitors who prefer to stay on the ground, the nightly balloon glow is possibly the most beautiful event. The balloons don't take off, the flames just light them up. Nocturnal flights, however, are perfectly possible. It is possible to fly at night, <coughs> probably the best way is to take off one or two hours before sunrise and then watch the sunrise from the balloon and make a landing in the daytime. Um, it's very beautiful to watch the sunrise at that time of day from, from a balloon. You, you, in fact, you can, you can go high and um, <coughs> watch the sunrise and then you can come down and watch it rise again. The Fiesta is a delight for landlubbers and balloonists alike a spectacle and a sport that proves generating a lot of hot air can be worthwhile.